Hey, I'm Jojo Wright, and uh, here we are in Woodland Hills, California. Paranormal investigation going on. This is Chad. Chad, the, the story you told me hmm. blew me away, which is why you know I called the guys from Paranormal EXP to come to your house and put yeah. up all these crazy lights and stuff, you know, because my I'm determined to catch this thing on video because th what this guy saw is just uh, it's insane. And first of all, I guess the first thing I look at when it comes to a paranormal investigation, in my opinion, you got to look at the witness. If it's some nutbag. You know, I hate to say it like that, but it's some full-on nutcase. It's hard to believe him. But a guy who is a an EMT studying to be a paramedic, or is it the flip of that? No, it's, you got it right. All right, EMT studying to be a paramedic. In my head, you know, I, I see a guy that he's dealt with a fair amount of crazy situations. You know, you deal with, uh, I don't want to over-dramatize it, but you deal with, you know, life and death all the time. So if anybody can handle, you know, some something crazy thrown at him, something from left field, I would think it would be you. You know, you act on your feet. You know, you're, you're quick on your feet, and but there it is what it is, you know. Then this story comes along and freaks this dude out. So walk me through what you saw. Give me the whole story. Let's start in, in your room, if you don't mind. Yeah, no, um... And I hope you guys can see that it's kind of dark. We have it all set up with, with like the grid and everything. Um, pretty much, uh, we're going to go through it this way. I, I'm sleeping. Uh, it's like 1 in the morning, um, you know, and I... I, I kind of wake up some pressure in my face. I always sleep on this side of the bed, just force a habit, I guess. Um, and I wake up, and like I said, my head just kind of hurts. And I wipe my face, wipe my hand like that. I specifically look down, and I can see blood. Your eyes are already adjusted to the dark. You know, I, I can look down, I physically see blood. So, first thing I'm like, well, crap, I gotta go, you know, clean this up. So I get up, I walk, start walking to the door, and I open the door, and as I'm opening the door, um, usually, like I said, my dog just comes running out, barreling out, because he's, you know, wants to, uh, wants to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Because he's I, a dog. That's yeah, because he's a dog, exactly. So I open up the door, and all I see down at the end of the hall here, I mean, you can clearly see, I mean, it's white down here, there's different colors, like just the blue and, the, you know, the tints on the, uh, you know, the molding and whatnot, but this door's closed, and, um, I don't know, you're mad at me. Uh, clearly, door's closed like this. And all I see specifically is like a figure, no, about my height, maybe a little taller. Specifically, fingers, hands spread like this, reaching for the knob like this. The side profile of the face, because that's just how your natural anatomy kind of looks. You kind of like this, reaching right. for the door. So at this point, you think, you think it is a, it's a guy breaking in. It looks like a real. It, lo it looks like a person like trying to open the door, getting inside the door. I don't know if it's real or not. I'm a, I mean, my first instinct is, crap, someone's in the house, you know, trying to get something. So I, I see like this. And as soon as I, like I said, I open the door, I kind of inch my head forward to kind of look to see what it is. So and once you put the camera back here, so you're, you're, you are, you open the door, your dog stays inside. You're, what the hell? Yeah. So I mean, you, you inch double forward take. like this. Oops, sorry, I knocked your mic off. You double take, you take another step like this, something like that. Mm -hmm. like, like, what the? Yeah, and literally, as I do that, I just get this. It's just like a like a quick turn, and then I'll run like that. Oof. And it's 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 unsettling because, it, I mean, you can feel like the tension just always, I mean, you don't know what's going on. You just open your door, and the next thing you know, this thing, as big as you, starts running down the hall, which was 15 feet. Or less. Right. Yeah, this is yeah. It's not much, not much room to get away. At that uh, and it doesn't take very long to get to where I'm at either. All right, so do me a favor. If you can take the camera and stand where he's at, and I want, I'm gonna be you, mm -hmm. and basically you be what this thing is. What the th that the the shadow man or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I, I do a double take. I see you, your hands on the door. Mm -hmm. You look at me. Mm -hmm. And then. And then. And then Right here, you're diving for the light at yeah, this point. Yeah, I'm just diving for the light. And your hands... Would... My, I had my my right arm up, since so I, you know, it's my dominant like hand. Reach for the light with the Reach left. for the light like this. And then by the time so, I'm here... So you can see... I can see it from here. Light clicks on. Light clicks on. All you see is hallway. What? What do you... All right, you're a logical dude. What do you... What? What? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> The, the best explanation I had at that point was, uh, I, I'm surprised he didn't hear me yell, because I yelled, oh, F, like, uh, in the hallway as this was going on. Um, he he didn't he never heard anything. He never, like, claimed to hear anything from me yelling. And the, 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 the figure made no 
No sound, no nothing, but you, it was that distinct running motion as I was doing towards it right there. So same, same exact kind of running motion. So I had no explanation for it at the time. All I did was feel just not comfortable whatsoever. But I, I literally got up, I turned on all the lights around the house. I was walking around just checking to see if it was just me or whatever. All the windows, doors were fine. There was no, no sign of like a break in. But uh, the next thing I knew, am I in the way here? Sorry. Uh, next thing, I, I mean, I just went, cleaned up, laid, that, laid back down. I mean, I didn't really sleep very well the rest of the night. But, I mean, since then, you know, I have just kind of felt tense around the house. That's been, what, a month, right. maybe? And we've done some, you know, uh, some research has been done uh, on the house. And to my knowledge, uh, nothing happened that we can find in the house. You said you found uh, an unsolved murder. Down the street, same yeah. street. Same street, like a couple of blocks down. Mm -hmm. She found the actual police, uh, like a press release from the police, LAPD, saying we're looking for the, the person who did this crime. Uh, but it wasn't this house, it was down the street. A couple of uh, murder suicides from older couples from who knows, I don't know what date that was. Uh, what did, did the shadow man, for the lack of a better word, did he look, could you tell an age? Or if you saw a no. picture, would you be able to pick um, it up and line up? Maybe some basic facial features, um, but I could definitely tell you the, the the size and build of the person for sure. Uh, I would definitely say anywhere from six to six two. How tall are you? I'm about six six one, a little late, less than six one. So a little taller than you. Yeah, a little taller than me. Probably like 190, 200 pounds, um, but very very lanky. Just defined as far I could. It was very defined as far as what I could see. I could see digits. I could see an arm. I could see a nose. I could see, uh, you know, just just the side profile of a face specifically. So it wasn't just like a blob. It was just it was clearly something that looked like a person. What the heck, man? That's just nuts. You ever seen anything like that before? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody told you that story, or I, I assume people have told you things in the past. I think you told me your roommate was saying, hey, something's messing with me, what have you. Mm -hmm. And you thought, yeah, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. And now that you, you saw this with your own two eyes, without any explanation, I mean, I, we're trying to rationalize on what else could it be besides that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't think of any other options. And granted, there's more investigations to be done. What do you think it is? And you can say it. You know I'm here. I'm, I'm, you know nobody's gonna think you're crazy. But no, I I feel like I'm crazy because I don't know what to what to make of it. I mean, I could very well could be me waking up feeling tired, but it very well could have been something unexplainable. At this point, I mean, I would love an explanation, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy there's not an explanation. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm skeptic. I'm skeptic on the whole thing, but that doesn't necessarily mean I wouldn't be convinced either way. Gotcha. So. All right, well, the investigation continues. Special thanks to Paranormal EXP for uh, dropping in and getting this thing rolling and seeing if we can find something out. But as as always, you know, ghosts or spirits don't always, they don't always uh, show up when you want them to. So you have to, like, what's going to happen is we're going to shut all this stuff down. See you later, Chad. Sure enough, door's locked. You, you go to bed. Boom, here it comes. Mm -hmm. I hope it doesn't happen like that. But, uh, <laughs> thanks. Makes Thanks for great TV here, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, have you guys ever, I mean, I know you guys have done a lot of investigations. Um, let me get the terminology correct. There's the, uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a haunt that happens when it just repeats itself residual. This would not be a residual haunt. I would have to imagine if it basically made eye contact with you and rushed you. Intelligent. Or intelligent haunt. How long have you lived in the house? A year. A little over a year. Now. Um... But uh, nothing, nothing has happened, at least to this point, that is anything like this, that I would say. I mean, there were no similar events. Uh, there were the few things that had happened to my roommate uh, prior to this, but that had happened within the last few years of uh, not necessarily living here, but uh, him living elsewhere. So, um, well, you had hey, well, one thing happened when I was in this house was I woke up middle of the night and I felt like or I saw someone pulling my legs like down towards my bed. Oh, this is what you were talking about the other night. Mm. In yeah. this house. In this house. Pull, something grabbing. Something grabbing my leg and pulling it. I'm just fighting back. I can't scream, but I could somewhat 
I guess, resist. And I felt like I was awake. I can't 100% say I was, but then all of a sudden I just went away after like 10 seconds or something. And you told him about it. You told him, yeah. he's like, come on. He's like, yeah, I'm like, I didn't even believe myself. But I mean, it felt so real that, I don't know, I couldn't tell if I was dreaming or if I was awake. And you said you uh, you used to live here, but you moved out, right? Yeah. Because, because, because of this stuff. Did you see anything or just you heard the stories and that was enough? I mean, I heard the stories and then my friend, I heard the little girls singing. So after that, I mean, and especially after Chad, this thing, I was just, you know what, might as well just go sleep on you guys. When the little girl was singing, she was, uh, you were in this bedroom over here, right? No, my friend was in the bedroom. I was actually in and Sacramento they, they had, at the time. They had no idea about what was going on. No there. idea about they, it. They, oh, that was our first like we, sign. That was our first sign. It wasn't like we had told them about what was going on here. Well, nothing um, really happened, happened. Yeah, like, I mean, he's had stuff happen to him, but, I mean, we're not going to just go around telling people so, about whatever. Hey, come see our girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. No they, so, they, they, yeah. yeah, so pretty much they tell us that the morning after they wake up, that that night they had heard things outside this room and then slowly it's manifested into what it is now. So, uh, but it's weird that they would, I mean, someone who's never even lived here who really has no correlation to like what's going on in the past with this or with him and his stuff is happening to him has heard something specifically without any warrants from us. Like the, and we didn't tell them anything. So they would have no reason to go ahead and say anything unless I would think that they would say something that it's true. You know, I'm curious since there's no um there's no I mean, there's no rhyme or reason there's no rhyme or reason why a haunt happens in a house. I mean, we always associate that with a murder, a suicide, you know, some sort of traumatic event. Mm -hmm. But you know, things happen for you know, who knows why. Yeah. But I'd be curious, Marcus, if you um I, I would be curious and there's no way to find out unless you just go door to door and knock and you'd look like a complete jackass. But if it's happening in this house and nothing traumatic happened in this house. Maybe things are just walking around, just in this area in general. I'd be well, curious. that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that you know it may not be actually this house. It could be the house next door that it's under construction, right? It's been like that for years. What happened to the people that lived there? Do you know? Well, they uh, I don't know what happened to the people that lived there, but I know that they the people had bought, purchased that house in the intentions of remodeling it. And I don't know if they just ran out of money or whatever, but that house has sat like that in that condition for three, four years, something like that, longer than that. I don't know. No. It, it was. Uh, I thought I remember. I, I remember that it's been like that for at least two years. Well, I've I've been here for two years. I used to live a year up in the guest house back there, but there were just some a couple of dudes renting that house, and then whoever bought it like a year and a half ago. Started doing construction and it's never finished. That's what it looks like. And you guys haven't bought any uh, old pieces of furniture or anything like that that could be have something attached to it. I mean, I've had some people tell me, you know, on the radio, like for example, um, uh, Mike Shinoda, Lincoln Park. His wife bought this some kind of box. I forget the whole the specifics of the story. Bought this box. And they keep seeing this old lady in their house. And it got to the point where they called, you know, uh, I don't want to say an exorcist, but somebody came in and did the, you know, the bless the house and what have you. And uh, since then, it's kind of cleared up. And it's, it's, granted, it's been like three, two, three years since he told me that story, but buy anything, buy anything with any history to it? Mm, no, not, not any kind of antiques or yeah. artifacts or anything like that. The battery's about to die on this. Well, the investigation continues, incomplete for now. See you later.